Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Lightwave video. Today is going to be a really quick video. Um, I'm going to be going over the flexibility of surfaces in Lightwave and um, how they work, because they work in a really dynamic and interesting way. So I want to create a box, a cube, just a simple cube, the default one. So uh, click on box just there, um, and then uh, press hit N on the keyboard for this. And I'm going to deselect that. So we've got our cube made, and I want to UV texture this entire cube as one. So I'm going to go to polygon mode, I'm going to select the entire box, I'm going to hit Q on the keyboard, which brings up the surface, um, change surface dialog box. I'll call this cube, and I'm going to set the default color to be teal, bluish. There we go. So now I've got the entire box uh, colored as teal. However, you can change things around. So if I wanted, let's say I wanted these three surfaces to be a different color than these three surfaces, I can click Q on the keyboard after selecting these polygons, and I can call this, let's say for example, uh, red side, because I'm going to make it red. I go into the color selector, go down here, go up there, and select the red color. Now my box has got two UV textures, I'm sorry, two surface textures on it. Um, this is really convenient when it comes to surface editing or UV texturing in general. We can also do this thing where you can kind of shift over. Okay, so how this works is each individual polygon can be made into its own surface if you wanted to. So if you were a crazy mad person and you wanted 50,000 polygons to each have their own individual surface, You'd have to be mad to do that, and you'd have to have a real beast of a computer, but you could do that if you so wanted to. With the flexibility of surfaces as well, I can select this side here, let's say that I want to make that side and that side into, um, into let's say I can shift it around, so if I hit Q on the keyboard, and I type in cube, I should have really typed that, but called that blue surface, um, and then hit OK, it will change, it didn't change, what have I done wrong here? Cube, uh, have I kept that in the right? Oh, hold on a second. That's because I was trying to put it on the wrong side. There we go. <laughs> so uh, that's been changed around. However, I've said that I, I've just said that I typed it in wrong. But if you go to surface editor here, what I can do is, so with cube, I typed it in uh, cube when I should have typed it in blue side. You can, however, change the name of this by right-clicking, going down to rename, and then I type in blue side, click OK, and now I don't have to worry about cube. Cube is exists, but it's been renamed to blue side now. This also works with UV textures as well, so the only difference with UV textures is, uh, first of all, don't take, obviously, things into layout with just a surface color because you want more control of your textures and the way that your object appears than that. So with the, cert with the UV texture, all you do is go to Edit Node Graph, uh, add node and go to image and then you would obviously select the image that you want to load so let's say I want to load an image and I'm going to close some fab uh, fabric uh, fabric 9 and uh, I'm going to change cubic obviously with the mapping you would have it as UV map and then you would select your UV map but I don't have a UV map created for this so go to cubic and then color to color and there we go so now on the blue side I've changed this to a cubic UV map However, let's say that I wanted more sides to be, let's say I wanted the entire cube to be uh, UV mapped as that, even though this is just a surface color and not actually a UV map. What I'd do is I'd just select everything, press Q on the keyboard and type in blue side. There we go. And what you'll see is that the entire cube is colored in. So essentially what I'm saying in this video is that you can slide sides from one surface to the next. If I wanted this entire cube to be uh, entirely red without that um, texture on it, I'll just type in red side and boom, it's now red and I've moved all the sides around. So it's really, the surface editor and surfaces in general are just are really, really dynamic. It also helps, um, it helps basically many stages of creating an object. Um, because it allows you just to kind of slide things in and out of a... Uh, it allows you to slide surfaces in and out of the assigned textures. So if you see something in 
uh, one of your objects and you decide that you want it to have this texture, all you need to do is select one side of it and type in the corresponding surface name and boom, you've got one side now assigned that texture. So that has been it. Really simple, really quick uh, showcase of the dynamic flexibility of surfaces in Lightwave. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye.